competitive is often what sounds boring. This is just shot after shot, and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. So the eagle goes begging and still has this for birdie. See if he can get this one to drop. Big birdie part. Oh yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Now to the 13th hole and, oh, I don't know, should we just fly it over the mountains, Frank? <laughs> It looks like that, uh, but then you better find dry land. 350 yards, but as the crow flies, it's probably just a little over 300 yards. I don't know if the mere mortals would really want to flash it across that desert ridge. Um, you probably want to play a little after it, have a little pitch up the hill, but if you're one of the longer hitters, why not just try it? See if you can make it. Well, he pays the price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Frankie's going for two birdies in a row. If he can knock this one in, then that's certainly going to help the confidence. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Good putt. Fourteenth hole here at Wolf Creek. Time to pull out the driver and as well, the foam because you want to take some pictures here. Yes. What a spectacular view. Stunning. You can see a whole panoramic sort of 360 degrees right around this golf course. Then when you flick back and actually look at the 14th hole, there's six bunkers. Three really in play with the tee shot, as you can see. The other three just up by the green. Anything to the right of those is, uh, is preferred, unless you want to be playing your second shot out of the canyon or the bunkers. Um, green should be fairly receptive and three distinct portions which is sort of a common trait here at uh, Wolf Creek. That's sort of uh, three different tier levels and that. But let's see, birdies are to be made at Wolf Creek, maybe even one here. Whoop, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. <laughs> Solid play, heart of the green. Shouldn't be a problem here. Robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. And he makes it for a bogey here.
Now to the short par 3 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. What is this, Frank? Just a wedge or a 9-iron? That's all, Rich, but it's very tempting to get greedy here. And, uh, well, you pay the price, obviously, if you miss the, miss the, the green on the left down on those bunkers because they're, well, a good six, seven feet below the level of the green. But uh, with a wedge or a 9-iron, who doesn't go aiming at the flag? Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. You can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Settles in over the putt. It looked like it was certainly going in. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now, try to walk away with the par. Doesn't dig into the lead with that par, but Frank, sometimes, and you know this as well as anyone, you just have to kind of maintain your footing out there. Short par four, 16th hole measures only 393 yards. But Frank, as is the case with pretty much every hole, despite the yardage, there's plenty of trouble. It does. It plays tricks on the mind's eye here. It looks like it's a dog leg going one way, then back the other way. But really, it's built as a straight hole just across the canyon. And, and that's the way you've got to play it. Um, I don't think you can drive the green even the longest hitters at 393 yards. But uh, just a nice drive down there. Take the bunkers on, get it past there. and. The, before you know it, you've got a little wedge in here, and it should sit up nicely for a birdie. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. Did the job right there. Now to the 17th, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left. Tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still going to be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's going to leave a lengthy second shot, and you've got to get the distance right on the button. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. But, you know, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Air Mail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. That was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Just a well-played approach shot right there. Only about 10 feet away and a good look at birdie here. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. 
Good work right there. They'll settle for par. Eighteenth hole, and Frank, again, a good scoring opportunity. Short par four. If you looked at the scorecard, you'd think you could drive this green, but uh, one quick look at the trouble in front and to the right of the screen, and you realize that's probably not the prudent play. Really, something 230, 240 yards off the tee in that vicinity is going to leave you uh, just a flick wedge into this green. It is a rather narrow green, but uh, from that distance, you'd expect to hit it close. Now, this game is all about variables, right? Rich, if you hit into a bad light, it completely changes the nature of the next shot. When the ball sits up like that, it is just liberty of choice now. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. So a tester from four feet. How does that stay out? I have no earthly idea. That's cruel, that. Hole's round. Ball's meant to go in. Good roll. Finishing holding her at Wolf Creek is only 307 yards. Frank, where's the trouble here? Uh, short and to the right of this par four. Really, there's a multitude of options off this tee. You could hit an iron, you could hit a fairway wood. Even some might try and hit a driver, but uh, you know that's a little too risky. There's too many, uh, too many problems up ahead if you try and take this hole on. Really, a short club off the tee, um, leaving yourself some area of 170 yards, and, and you're going to be putting for birdie more often than not. 